Once you have assigned a coordinate system to a drawing, you can use the coordinate tracking tool to identify any point in the drawing. This tool allows you to track not only in the current coordinate system, but also in any other coordinate system that you select in the coordinate tracker. Our current drawing is a drawing of the sewer map of our city. I'll zoom in a little bit and you can see that we have sewer lines and maintenance holes. We need to identify the latitude and longitude of one of these maintenance holes so that our field crew can identify it using their GPS devices in the field. This drawing is currently in a California State Plains coordinate system and to confirm that I'll go to the Map Setup tab, Coordinate System Panel and click Assign. Here at the top of the Coordinate System Assign dialog, we can verify that the coordinate system assigned to this drawing is indeed correct. I'll dismiss this dialog. Now we'll open the Coordinate Tracking Tool. I'll go to the Analyze tab, GeoTools panel, and click Coordinate Track. This launches the Track Coordinates palette. This palette is currently set to a latitude-longitude coordinate system using the NAD84 datum. As I move my cursor around on the screen, you can see the display of coordinates in latitude and longitude. At the bottom left of the screen, on the status bar, we can also see the standard AutoCAD coordinates. Since we have set the current coordinate system to the California State Plains coordinate system, these AutoCAD coordinates also represent actual locations on Earth in that system. So the tracker is able to display a different coordinate system than that which is assigned to the drawing. If I click the coordinate system name on the track coordinates palette, it displays all of the coordinate systems that are available for me to assign to this tool. We want to use a standard latitude longitude with no datum. Here under categories, I'll select lat longs and scroll all the way to the top in the code description column and double click the LL coordinate system. This sets the latitude longitude with no datum to the coordinate tracking tool and not to the drawing. This is the same coordinate system that is used on the GPS devices in the field used to locate objects. At this point, if I want to communicate to the field where to find a specific maintenance hole, I can just hover over that drawing object and the latitude longitude location is displayed on the palette. I can also digitize lines using the coordinate tracker. I could enter the line command and then enter the values here in the palette and then click digitize. I can also set some options. On the track coordinates palette, I'll click the options button and this launches the options dialog. Here I can set this to display degrees, minutes, and seconds instead of decimal degrees. I'll click that option and then click OK to dismiss the dialog. Now in the track coordinates palette, you can see that the locations are now displayed in DMS. So you can see that the track coordinates palette gives us some flexibility to work in other coordinate systems regardless of what coordinate system is assigned to the drawing itself.